is an awesome thing because you can't teach that. And she's been able to play. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Jules. What an off balance connection there by McBride. Bounce pass over to Carlton. She's already got four threes in this half. Kick out to Collier. Here's McBride. They give her the lane. She takes it. Six games, just 15 points combined. Four to shoot. McBride off the catch. Buries a three. Back-to-back -back possessions, McBride triples. From Diamond Miller was a quick shot. I don't think that they wanted. Kayla McBride is just in the zone right now. Hesitation, Mitchell. Nice ball movement, McBride launches and buries the three. That's her third tonight. Yeah, but she has been a fantastic and steady scorer throughout her WNBA career. Now in her 13th season. To her was an adjustment. And if you look at her progress, game one here to game 40, as Collier on the roll finishes inside. Berger's seen a big development in here. Collier with the rebound. That's all she needs, right? Just a little bit of time and space. McBride has her for players have contributed offensively in this game with five minutes to go before halftime. McBride picks up the dribble, takes the shot. Two more for Kayla McBride. And I'm suspecting that Griner will be a little bit more effective and efficient here in the second half as she has gotten some better looks. McBride, that's a great look. One opportunity here for Minnesota if they want to take it. Bannon bouncing baseline. McBride splash. Her first three of the game. I know those free throws really helped her. Yeah, Megan, and, and there's something that you guys don't see or, or what you guys don't see behind the scenes is she's over here on the sidelines, and when she's not in the game, she is constantly moving. She's constantly jumping up and down. Team nothing run by Atlanta. Miller to Collier. And now McBride, the three-point try, man, that's a big shot for Kayla McBride. Worth mentioning, Chris, this Lynx team has had a ton of injuries throughout the season, which has made it hard to really mesh. Oh, Kayla McBride with a long one. They're trying to free up McBride, catch and shoot. She hits a three. A lot of contact, no whistle comes with. Players a break, really, they didn't have to get back to work. Well, some. Well, Asia Wilson went to the World Cup, yeah. but some <laughs> took a little break before they went to work. Yeah, some got a little bit more than others. Lynx will need to take a shot. And it's going to be McBride for three. <laughs> Why not? To do that over the last couple of minutes, turning the ball over four times. Right, feeds inside, getting away from Jewel Lloyd is the other 24, Nafisa Collier. You brought it up, her versatility, Jules. She could hurt you in every which way. And so could Kayla McBride if she heats up. Collier tied up. McBride lets it fly and connects. She just needs to see one go in. McBride, five on the shot clock. Collier back to McBride who gets it off and gets it in. Kayla McBride miss and Lindsay Allen has it. She's got numbers if she can get the ball ahead. Bounces off of Wallace. Oh, there's a three, McBride. Big time shot from the corner for Kayla McBride. Franchise is now in her hands, and she is ushering it into a new era. You talked about Fee being the sole captain. That's actually the first under Shiel Reef, and she knows the responsibility of that. Reef says you cannot have a bad day as a Shepard into the paint and then back out. McBride finds Shepard on the roll. The beauty of a pass from McBride. So hard to stop her. Biggest lead of the game for Connecticut here in the second half. McBride, who did not pick a shot in the first half, hits that one there, for, especially on the defensive end. And these teams have split the first two games. This will be the third and final matchup. The opening tip, McBride, a layup. That's the quickest opening basket we've seen from the Lynx this season on the court. And Kayla McBride drains the three. What'll happen? The Lynx have scored on seven of their last nine offensive possessions. They keep it rolling there. Nina Milic with the basket and Taking it off on the far side. As he magnagore. 
could not get that one as Whitcomb did not put it over the defense. Oh, nice bullet pass there. That was like a post pattern to the end zone. That was brilliantly thrown. McBride with a lane to the hoop. And Eric Tebow wants a timeout. They'll hold again. It's tough to tell on those replays. McBride on the drive, floats it up, off balance. McBride gets it to go. Up and over four defenders at one point or another. Yeah, and if I was Phoenix, I'd be going to that each and every time. McBride hit. Scott back in the zone defense, trying to slow down the Lynx. From the corner, McBride icing it for the Lynx. Oh, Screen from Lloyd, gets it to Jewel, in the paint, throws it away. Yet another turnover, that is 14. Minnesota can score their 19th and 20th, maybe even 21st point, and they She did not, she no. scored 30 instead. McBride connects on a three. Kayla McBride has been scorching hot. All here with Gustafson on her off a of curl. It's McBride, just needs that one dribble to set herself up, and she's got Collier the other way. McBride, pump fakes, fires up the three, snuggles it home, and it's tied again. Two other times this season, this Lynx team was not playing as well. Off the miss, Minnesota gets a second chance at it. Kayla McBride, the baseline, knocks down the three. McBride, top the key, three, the buckets. Kayla McBride, it's the first three tonight for Minnesota. Indiana had just seven points in the third quarter. It's been hot or cold so far for Indiana. McBride launches and delivers. Natasha Cloud, and she just touched Elena Deladon's hands. You got that. And you see what actions are there, even if the shot doesn't fall for you. McBride gets right to the hoop for the lay-in. 